Dear students, in this particular session, we are going to discuss about essay writing. And this is the prescribed syllabus for fourth semester BA and BSc students. So, let us just begin by understanding what an essay is. Usually, whenever we pick up a topic, it is always good for us to go through some of the definitions which will give us an idea about that particular thing, what we are discussing. So here, as we are discussing about essays, let us have few of the people from literary world, how do they define essay for me, uh, for you all. I'll just read out and I quote Dr. Johnson's uh, definition on essay. I quote, Essay is a loose sally of the mind, an irregular, indigested piece, not a regular and orderly performance. Okay? And the Oxford Dictionary, it explains it as, a composition of moderate length on any particular subject or branch of subject originally implying want to finish but now said of a composition more or less elaborate in style though limited in range. There is another writer very interestingly uh, and very loosely he describes it as a work of prose art. So here Sansbury is the person who calls essay as the prose art and more loosely still it has been called the after dinner monologue of an interesting and well informed man. Okay, this is again a very interesting piece of uh, uh, interesting way of looking at what essay is all about. So it is an afternoon monologue. Please students remember it's a monologue. It's not a dialogue. It is a monologue. Uh, uh, often a very well informed person okay so coming to what we have tried to uh, say here to make it very easier see with all these definitions that we had now or we just try to examine none of those definitions give you a complete or a comprehensive idea about what essay comprises of what it is all about and another interesting writer's observation should be made here about essay that is i quote w h hudson here he says the true essay is essentially personal it belongs to the literature of self-expression treaties and dissertations may be objective the essay is subjective okay so one more uh, very good observation that we can keep in mind with this definition is that essay writing is highly personal. Okay, so students remember what an essay is has various definitions. Not all the definitions give it a complete justice. Okay, so here merely what we have understood here is an essay is the long piece of composition on a general subject or a theme. The word essay literally means an attempt on a given topic. Okay, so as uh, we had all these definitions, so it is just an attempt on a given topic. So whatever a person knows about a specific topic, what he or she has understood about that particular thing. So their personal ideas about that topic will be presented in an essay. So usually essay will be on a singular topic. It will not be something which has multiple, uh, you know, topics and all. Usually one topic will be discussed by that individual who is attempting to write an essay on that topic, whatever that person understands about that, what a per, whatever perceptions that person has on that particular topic, everything will be put in an essay. So that is an essay. So please remember it is an attempt to reflect on one particular topic. It is highly personal and it is a monologue and uh, you should also remember that it is um, something that uh, a single topic will be covered under, okay? So this is about essay as a definition. So 
you can say that essay is a written piece that is designed to present an idea propose an argument express the emotion or initiate debate so it is a tool that is used to present writer's idea in a non fictional way so please remember students this is not something where you are going to fictionalize it is a non fiction writing it is not like storytelling it is not like writing your novels or something like that it is not fictional you are writing merely your own understanding on that particular topic and that will be real to your sense okay that is what you are going to present okay so and one more thing you might be questioning is that uh, what often happens is many of my own students do ask you know madam what are we discussing about you know even now uh, after coming to degree do we have to do all these exercises especially grammar when it comes to language composition we discuss those topics which you have already priorly worked out in your school days so you must be wondering in what way that essay is going to help you when you come to your higher education especially in degree classes so i had uh, you know come across few observations made so in what way you know essay writing is going to help so if you think a little bit is it a beneficial exercise students to be doing in degree class certainly yes because it increases the understanding and helps the process of learning because it pushes you many amongst other things and to clarify and sort out your ideas and information and you'll also learn to analyze the source material and to exercise critical judgment so look at it in what all ways essay writing exercise helps you first is that it helps you to dwell into a particular topic and have a deeper understanding of that topic so you know you it just pushes you that extra mile to work and understand the topic you will just take extra efforts and you will collect lot of resources you know to write an essay and you will also analyze those resources you will know what to take and what not to take and you will know how to arrange it in a logical way to make it a complete sense so you will be learning all those exercises all those things you will be learning okay you learn to also make a critical judgment okay you will not be carried away you will have your own understanding you collect your resources then you analyze it and then you will also critically judge what this is all about and then you are going to reflect on the topic in your own way of understanding so it's going to be a very beneficial exercise even in your degree classes and majorly because you know you already know essay writing as a very uh, you know title says writing so it hones up your writing skills children so please remember it develops writing skills such as the ability to structure an argument and a capacity to write lucidly coherently and persuasively okay so you will learn how do you go, how are you going to frame what are the structure that you know you are going to frame in your essay structure of the sentence the structure of the whole body of the essay as such and it should be coherent and it should be persuasive and you know the reader must feel that what you are saying or putting across your argument is right okay so it develops that writing skills in you and not only that it enable it uh, it also enables your teachers or your tutors to assess you and provide you a good feedback on your progress so all in all essay writing is going to prove very beneficial even in your degree classes as well so now what should we remember how to write an essay because this session not only gives us the definition of essay or a little bit of understanding what essay is all about please remember it could be it is highly personal and the topic covered from uh, you know uh, in it could be from amoeba to uh, you know your uh, um, uh, probably galaxy or whatever it is you know you just name the thing and that thing can be discussed under the topic of essay writing the scope of essay writing is all inclusive it has everything every topic can be discussed or every uh, thing under the sky including the sky itself could be a topic of your essay now having said this you already know that essay comprises of three parts children so one is the introduction then the body of the essay and the conclusion part so it's very important for us to understand 
the basics of essay writing. How can we actually give an effective essay? Okay, so there are a few points that you have to remember. Okay, so unity of theme, which means that you should have your aim clearly set down before you start writing. Give emphasis to the main idea in the essay by placing it in a prominent position. For example, the beginning or end, either by giving more space uh, to it or by directly stating it. And the beginning introduces the subject of the essay, the middle develops the theme and the concluding paragraph take it to a suitable close. Okay, so <clears throat> certain things that you have to very clearly remember is that you know, you better have a blueprint of your ideas before you pen it down. Okay, you should uh, jot down the points. Okay, very important. You should know what you really want to say. So your aim should be clear. If one topic is given, what are your understandings of the topic? What do you feel about the topic? You know, uh, what's happening regarding the topic? And whether it is right or wrong or all your arguments, you better jot down the points and make a logical uh, arrangement of those points. And then you start make an attempt at writing it. And as, as we've already discussed, it has three parts. So usually your idea or the central idea of that essay should be introduced in the beginning of the essay that is in the introductory part because that is the highlight it always remember it's like uh, you know the person who just reads your introductory part must clearly get an idea of what the uh, you know thematic explanation of that would be in the body of that essay okay what would follow so the hint should be given there in the very beginning the uh, uh, the prominent point or the important central idea should be given in the introductory part of the essay because that becomes very effective and you should develop on that particular thing what you have discussed in the introduction and that comprises of the larger part, part of the essay and then you have to conclude it with a suitable close okay it should also be not abrupt you should give it a suitable close so if you remember these points then i think you will be very successful in writing the essays okay so uh, some more things that you have to remember is you have to ensure that essay has the quality of balance the points that are included in it must be given the treatment they deserve according to their importance. Yeah, this is again, as I've been uh, emphasizing on this idea that you need to know how to organize your argument. Organizing your argument. First and foremost, you should not talk about something which is of a, uh, you know, mere um, importance. You should start from the points which are more important and then come to the lesser ones. Okay, so please, uh, for example, avoid making your introduction so long that there is a delay in your getting to the main point. Okay, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, you know, already we discussed that whatever is important, whatever is your central idea that has to come in the first part of the essay, that is the introductory part of the essay. Plus, but please remember students, your introductory part should not become so lengthy that, that itself becomes an essay within an essay. Okay, so essay writing when it comes to it, these things should have a lot of precision to the point crisp expressions should be there when you go for essay writing. Okay, so please don't go for unnecessary details and usage of flamboyant words just to make it over decorative or something like that. Don't try to embellish it too much. Okay, creep your, uh, uh, you know, central idea, give a precise idea about it and to the point and see that you're not going to embellish too much and, uh, you know, lose its uh, strength and make it lose its strength. Okay, so it should be like that, especially uh, I, I just remember Bacon's essay, of course, you know, uh, you must have heard about Bacon and uh, he is considered to be, uh, you know, the one who initiated uh, essay writing in English, actually. So he's credited with that, he's called as the father of English essays. You should read his essays to get an idea of what all that precision is like. It's like, um, you know, um, slashing with a whip, you know, hitting with a whip. You know, they are so power packed statements, all concise, all to the point, nothing beating around the bush. His uh, statements are almost pro proverbial. 
he was a master he was a genius and he could create such you know phrases and statements and sentences but maybe we not but it doesn't mean that we actually add up unnecessary details and unnecessary words or redundant expressions and such things should be avoided okay so please remember these points as well and for an essay to be coherent arrange the ideas it contains in a definite order and also make clear the link between any to adjacently placed points so when we are writing an essay i know that we tend to uh, sometimes elaborate and we tend to somehow forget one or the other uh, point that we thought we it was very essential to write and such things would happen and sometimes you know we are discussing one thing and all of a sudden we go to a very different uh, expression so the first point and the second point doesn't connect with each other it should not happen so it should be logically connected your argument should be logically connected with each other when you write an essay okay students so these are some of the things that you have to remember remember that an essay should not be loosely structured or it should not be rambling and every part should contribute to its total meaning so please avoid adding unnecessary uh details and uh, something which doesn't which cuts the connectivity of the points from each other don't add such details let it be structured properly let it not ramble away let it not get lost in some other thoughts okay you should hold the grip and then most essays are written in a formal style and does com uh, a style does complete sentences are used and colloquial expressions and slangs are avoided so one more thing this is very important students that you have to remember and because more so you are a student and you will be writing this essay completely for a formal setting so whenever you are writing it and you know that your professors could be reading it or your seniors could be reading it see that you know there is a standard in the presentation of your essay when i mean standard don't go for colloquial expressions and please avoid slangish expressions you should not use slangs because um, as this is a formal exercise it is not something to be you know regarded personal though your ideas that you are presenting in the essay are personal but yet it is not a personal exercise okay so having said that it is very good if you avoid unnecessary expressions and colloquial expressions and also slangish expressions so if you remember these points then you will be very very successful in writing good and effective essays okay so what are the steps uh, for a well developed essay specify the topic please be clear about what the topic is and what your opinion is in the introductory part of it just give a hint or just make a, a remarkable uh, you know expression of your understanding of the topic in the introductory part itself and before attempting to write please jot down the points and uh, order the main points as headings okay so it will be easy for you to you know proceed through then jotting down it and making a separate note of the main points as heading and then you know the sub part of it can be elaborated so please see that before writing an essay you make all these preparations and i know when we are discussing this uh, you know you some of you might feel and have this question that madam how so when we have uh, to write an essay in the examination see that is why priorly if you have the habit of practicing essay writing it will be easy for you to do that in the examination because in exams you'll have time constraint within the given time you have to do all other things including essays right so if you have lot of practice of writing essays it's well and good in advance please have lot of practice write and practice write and practice and then it will definitely be a, a smooth sailing thing for you even in your exams okay please arrange the remaining points under the main headings to get an outline and then develop the outline into a complete essay after writing an essay always read through your draft and revisit paying attention to clarity and grammatical accuracy students this is again very very important 
See, I know that when we pick up a topic and somebody asks us to give our reflections on that topic, we'll just jot down the points, main headings, the sub ones, everything we do. We try to organize it in a very logical way and we try to connect each and other, every other point to each other, all these things. But when we reread it, we'll understand that, oh my God, we have skipped out this main thing. You know, I need to add it. Or it is also rereading will help you again to reframe the whole essay. And not only that, you can keep a check on the grammatical uh, errors that you might have committed or the alphabetical errors that you might have committed or, you know, the sentence structure. Any of these things can be rectified. So if before giving a final presentation of essay, if you have the practice of rereading it, you know, a couple of times so that you can... Uh, you know, correct all the mistakes that you have done and somewhere you can add up the things or you, uh, which you feel of lesser importance, you can delete those points. So it just helps you in giving a more structured, effective and a very good essay. So remember these points and I think that should help you all to write very, very effective essays. So that is all for this session. Thank you.